Hey everyone, welcome to Evan Magic. Today, out on the range, I bought some water jugs. That's right, it's time to shoot some water jugs. Hootie Hoo brought by like a crap load of them. Uh, when was he here? Friday. And he's like, hey, if you want to do some water jug videos, there you go. Well, let's throw a big thanks out to him because I want to do some water jug videos. Hopefully I don't get soaked, but you know how that goes. Just amazes me. You shoot something like that, sort of like clay and some other things. Well, it's going this way. You're hitting everything, pushing everything that way, but all the liquid seems to come this way. Yeah, that uh, that science just doesn't compute sometimes, but hey, it happens. And what we're going to do, because I know y'all like this, because the last video done really well and y'all seem to enjoy it, is the 115 grain versus the 147 grain. For the 115, I have some as Tula. And this is basic 115 grain steel case, full metal jacket. Nothing fancy, nothing fancy, just good range ammo. And for those of y'all who say you don't like steel case or there's some uh, gun snobs out there that won't shoot this stuff, look at my previous video and see how well I was hitting with this and how accurate it was and how good it run. And my Remington. RP9, which has been quote said to be a piece of crap, and I haven't cleaned this thing, God, since last year sometime. But hey, this stuff, I got nothing against it, really like it. And for the 147 grain, I got this Remington UMC. Uh, again, it is a full metal jacket, and that's a flat nose. So like a 40 or a 10, which is sort of odd. But 147 grain, that is a heavy 9mm. So I've got six water jugs set up out there. And I'm wondering, you know, which one of these is going to go through the most. Y'all throw down in the comments what you think. Is it going to be the lighter, faster, 115 grain? Or the heavier, harder hitting, 147 grain? Well, like I say, throw down in the comments what you think. Let's get out there and make these shots. All right, got the close-up camera going. And what we're going to do here, I'd like to do the 115 grain first and the 147 second. So there's our 147, then our 115. Look, say, I've got six of them up there. Hopefully that's enough to catch it right off the bat. Let's see what we can do. And we're probably going to get wet. That's why I got the camera way back there. Right, looks like I'm pretty straight right here. Wow, I didn't get wet. Well, let's go check that out. All right. Yeah, the water didn't splatter back as far as I thought it would. Ah, right, so we got one, of course. And two. We tore it up pretty good, didn't it? And three. Just kept ripping through that bad boy. And four. Wow. Thing's no joke. All the way through number four. There's a dent. There's a break in number five. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. And there's an exit in number five. See a break in number six. There is no way. Right there. Exited there and come out the handle. 
I would have not believed that if I wouldn't have shot it. I thought for sure six would have caught that. I was thinking around four, maybe five. Well, far out. Uh, let me go ahead and put up six fresh ones, and we'll shoot that 147 grain, and we'll see because, uh, yeah, that surprised me that that low-cost 115 grain went through six water jugs. Far out. All right, I got six more fresh ones up there. Let's see what our 147 grain is going to do. I hope this don't go through all of them, but uh, say that was quite a surprise. <laughs> we are clear. Let's go see what that does. Oh, we're walking up here. Oh, lordy. Yeah, I think we got doomed again. There's one. There's two. And three, four in, four out, yeah, five in, five out, and six of them. I believe that was an in and an out. I'm not seeing the bullet, I see a uh, lot of tore up here. Huh. Okay. Yeah, I see it cracked up right here, so I do believe that it went all the way through that one, and yes, it did. What a bummer. And like I say, I don't have enough jugs to redo that test, but that still shows us something. I mean, 9 millimeter is often, uh, you know, frowned upon sometimes by some people, especially just the basic 115 grain stuff, like that low cost Tula ammo. And I'm here to tell you, stuff's no joke. I mean, uh, if you're attacked by water jugs, don't worry. A minimum of six will go down with every shot, so you have that. Well, guys, appreciate you watching the video. I apologize that we didn't catch a bullet or we did not come to a good conclusion. <laughs> Sometimes it just happens that way. But at least we know that either one of them rounds will get through six water jugs. And that's saying a lot because water really does uh, have some stopping power when it comes to any type of bullets. That's a fact. Well, guys, I appreciate you watching. Hope you enjoyed it. At least the slow mo should be awesome. Uh, if you would, throw us down some comments. Uh, if you're able, hit us up on Patreon. And please, like, share, and subscribe. Again, appreciate it. Until the next one, I hope that everyone has a fantastic day.